This is Ella A from Ella's Learning Channel. Today I'm going to be showing the groups of the periodic table. In this green over here are the alkali metals, which consist of lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium, which are all really reactive. Hydrogen is not in that group. This yellow is the alkali earth, which consists of beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. Some of them are toxic, like beryllium and radium, but some are essential for life, like magnesium, calcium, and strontium. These are the transition metals, and they're highlighted in purple. They have a wide variety of different properties, but they're all pretty same. There's a there's a lot of them that are radioactive. It has a weight scale of scandium to copernicium, which has a weight of 44. Scandium has a weight of 44.956, and copernicium has a weight of 285, which makes it one of the most weight diverse. This light blue here are the post-transition metals. They consist of four heavy ions, most of them are toxic, like lead thallium. Some of them are found in everyday life, like tin and aluminium. Gallium and indium aren't very common. The screen over here are the metalloids. Most of them are toxic, like polonium, antimony, germanium, arsenic, and some types of boron. But some of them are found in everyday life, like silicon. And silicon is found in sand and quartzes. This orangish pinkish color is the other nonmetals. They are pretty common in the Earth's crust, such as hydrogen, it's the tenth most common, and oxygen, it is the most common. And carbon and nitrogen are essential for life. Phosphorus is very reactive. Selenium is slightly smelly. These are the halogens, another group of extremely reactive elements, but they have a heavy ion. Two of them have never been seen, astatine or tennessine. It's because they're extremely radioactive and never more than a few atoms have been created. Chlorine is a very light gas, but it's very corrosive, such as chlorine. Bromine is one of the only elements that is liquid at room temperature. Some people think iodine can't be a liquid, but it can, under the right conditions. These are the noble gases in the light orange color, and most of them are gases, but scientists predict that Element 118, organesson, is a solid. This red at the bottom of the periodic table are the lanthanides. Most of the lanthanides are, they're very hard to separate from each other, and scandium and yttrium, because they have very similar properties. And some scientists think scandium and yttrium should be a lanthanide. This blue at the bottom of the periodic table are the actinides. The actinides are very radioactive elements, with some of them would have a half-life of less than a few minutes, such as Einsteinium or Mendelivium. They have very short half-lives, so short that you could count to ten right before they were gone. The 16th element is sulfur. Sulfur is found in triple antibiotic ointments, which has nicomin sulfate. Chlorine is found in table salt, which is sodium chloride. Argon is also found in the plasma ball, which 
is also a noble gas, which gives a little bit of different colors, like white. Potassium is found in bananas and, Braz and Brazil nuts. Also, if you eat 600 bananas, you will feel like you got a chest x-ray. Calcium is found in milk. Calcium helps strengthen your bones. The 21st element is scandium. Scandium doesn't have a use in everyday life, but it does have play a significant role in industries and chemistry. The 22nd element is titanium, which is found in screws and power drills. Vanadium is found in steel, like this wrench. Chromium plates shiny objects. Manganese is found in stainless steel. The 26th element is iron. Iron is very vital for our body, is hemoglobin, which helps bring oxygen to our heart. And iron is also found in nails and other metal objects. The 27th element is cobalt. If you eat cobalt meals in a ceramic pot, you will not get a B12 vitamin deficiency. Nickel is found in beans. I have black beans here, but if you cook the beans, you will get more nickel. Copper is found as nuggets in the ground and used to plate pennies. Zinc is found under the layer of copper that is found in pennies. And zinc is also vital for your body and which is, and which is weird because it's above two toxic elements. The 31st element is gallium. Gallium is found in transistors. Gallium has a melting temperature of 94.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which means if you keep it in your hand for long enough, it will melt. Germanium is also found in the transistor, as well as arsenic and selenium. Bromine is the 35th element, and bromine is extremely toxic and can corrode human skin. Organic bromine is used to kill pests and other unwanted insects. The 36th element is Krypton. Krypton is found in neon signs, plasma balls and airplane runways. Krypton, when electrified correctly, can give a bright white light. Rubidium is found in vacuum chamber pipes. Strontium is found in your bones. Yttrium is found in Euterbium ores. Zirconium is found in zircon and garnet. Also, zirconium is used as zirconium carbide in nuclear reactors. Niobium is used in spacecraft engines. And it's also used in factories. Molybdenum is used for to make molly steels which are steels with a little bit of molybdenum added. Technetium is used as radioactive isotopes for medical imaging. Ruthenium is used to make ruthenium coins like this one. And it's also used to make jewelry. Rhodium is used to make jewelry and chemistry wear. Palladium is also used to make chemistry wear and cameras. Silver is used in jewelry. And cadmium is used in nickel cadmium batteries. Indium is used in transistors. Indium is used in transistors. Tin is used in tin cans. Antimony is used in transistors. To 
tellurium's used to make the red color for dishes. Iodine's used for healing wounds. Xenon is used in plasma balls and neon signs. The 55th element is cesium. Cesium is used in solar panels. Barium is used in medical imaging. Lanthanum is used in cigarette lighters. Cerium is used as ferrocerium bars for campers. 59th element is praseodymium. Praseodymium is used in paint. Neodymium is used in magnets. Thanks so much for watching. Keep supporting my channel. Share this video with your friends. Click the notification bell and like and subscribe this video. Have a nice day.